안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. And in my last hair tools comparison video, I did hair straighteners, which you can find over here. And today we're going to be talking about my different hair curlers. So I have a $20 hair curler, $200 hair curler, and I have a $500 hair curler. It's actually $550 for the whole set, but there's different packages available that you can find on Dyson's website for like their different ranges of price. I did actually already film the first uh, comparison, so I'll just be talking through the $20 curling iron. I am using a heat protectant. Again, I haven't changed my heat protectant yet. I'm just trying to use this one up. But on one side of my hair, I did classic curls. On the other side, I did twist waves. And I do want to keep this comparison experiment as controlled of an environment as possible, so give them the same um, texture hair to begin with and then see the results, the usability, the effects on the hair. I did notice while using this curling iron that my finger was cramping a bit just because I think it's easier to use with two hands so if you have the time to section your hair with clips um, it may be easier to use this with two hands but I like to be more efficient so I usually don't use clips to section my hair when I'm doing curls just because it's so much faster and I have a lot of layers so I don't need that many subsections anyway but it does go from 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 so there is a lot of range there however I do find that I don't really get uh, results unless I'm at the 300 range it is relatively easy to use a straightener but there is a bit of tension when I do try to move the barrel down the hair shaft but I think that's like expected with regular ceramic straight. <laughs> keep saying straightener. Curling iron. This one already I noticed that it is much longer in the cord. You get this much more of a length. And just overall it just looks really, really nice. It feels very nice as well. As well as the clip being a little bit lower. So I can imagine it'll be less of a cramp for my hand than to do this. And the spring is much easier to control as well. Whereas this one is a little bit, it uses more muscle. Also notice how this one doesn't have a clip down like the $20 one does. In order to place it down, it just has this rose gold bar that you can use to just place it down without ruining or burning any surfaces. Whereas this one, you'd have to manually keep pulling it up. We'll just do a light spritz. This side, I'm gonna do classic curls. And I do have this on three out of five of the heat setting. However, I don't really know how hot it really is. Oh, I can already see a difference with that curl. I don't know what, but it'd it be looking different. It, it do. I mean, the $20 one does do its job, but it don't look like this. It looks like a croissant. And I also find I don't have to hold it for that long. For the um, $20 one, I do have to hold the sections for like five seconds but this one I hold for much less but it might be the heat setting too I don't know if I'm using more heat or less heat this one came out more like a wave I think I take it down too early definitely easier to use because of how low this little lever is this was actually pretty fast for me to do I only used three minutes to do half my head which that's not bad but of course your hair has to be completely dry Oh, so curly compared to the $20 one. I'm gonna do the twist method. Actually, I've only been using the twist method with this curling iron. With the $20 one, I found it to be faster to do the twist method, but with this one, I think it's faster to do the classic method, just based on how much easier, maybe? I don't know. The spirals are so pretty. It does its job, it curls, but I don't know, something about how they all lay together, it just looks a bit different. So right when I have a whole wrap, then I'll hold it, twist it, do another full wrap, untwist it, and keep wrapping down, and then release. And that creates more of a spiral wave rather than a classic curl. I also use this hair curler um, in New York and Boston, and my friend, used it as well and she was like this is so good and I was like I know it's so like easy to use and smooth and we're just like fangirling over how nice it was 
Oh, my hand still is cramping a bit just because I have to keep turning it. <sighs> but my fingers are not cramping as much as they did in the $20 one. <gasps> Ippuda! Oh, I really like it. Let's see the classic curl side. I'm just finger combing. Oh, the, there's definitely more waves and more curls here. Doesn't look as fried. And I'm sure if my hair was longer, it would look even more voluminous and luscious. This one is the spiral wave side. And it really gives that like mermaid curls look. Mmm, I'm actually impressed. I didn't really realize the difference of results, but let's try the $500 one and then at the end we'll compare all three. Okay, I just washed my hair because you actually have to use this air curler with your hair damp. I was contemplating whether to categorize this as an air styler or as like a hot air roller or as a curler, but because this is a curling attachment, that's why I included it here, but they do have other attachments like air brushes as well as like the actual blow drying attachments and other sizes as well. But we're mostly gonna be talking about the, the air wrap. What's really great about having like a two-in-one styler like this is because I can curl my hair while blow drying it. And because my hair is wet, I'm doing my full hair care routine before styling it instead of like blow drying it or waiting for it to air dry and then heat styling it after. And you can totally curl your hair with cold air as well. So like no heat damage, like zero. That's like revolutionary. I find that my roots are still wet even after I use the air dryer. So I do like to dry my roots first. I just realized I wasn't filming, but um, I'm gonna be doing this side my classic curls and then this side my spiral curls. And I just like let it wrap like this. Give it a little wiggle. There's no like twisting of my hands or my wrists. So it saves me a lot of heartache that way and I am using the heat setting just so it will dry faster but you can use it with absolutely no heat as well and then it's not even a croissant at this point it's like a roll cake oh I forgot to mention this as well but where the air comes out of are these little slits and they actually only blow in one direction, which is why there are these arrows here, which allows the air to push down the cuticles and not just blast hot air everywhere. It does only directionally blow down the hair shaft and that allows less damage to the hair shaft as well as smoother looking hair, less frizz and less drying time as well. It is taking a little bit longer to curl than the T3, but because I'm blow drying at the same time, in the end, I do spend less time. Wow. You want to go to the park with Oma and Appa? Okay, on my body, how can I say what you on my body wet tail, okay? <laughs> She's so funny. She big. She soft. She fluffy. Okay, let's do the other side. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do like a unwrap with this one because the air is always flowing. So how I like to get the spiral waves is just to pull it down while the air is still running. That way it kind of causes the air to pull the spiral down. I don't know, you'll see, just watch. You do also have to change the barrel because it's only one direction of air. And she's done. The side is a little bit more of like a messy wave look. And then the side came out much more like volume curls. Oh. I love them both. I love them both. <laughs> so this is the classic curl side. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is the wave side. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's so soft, shiny, and healthy. Oh my gosh. And I didn't have to air dry or blow dry it first before 
heat styling it. It's like all in one. So as you can see on the screen, these are the results for comparing the $20 curling iron, $200 curling iron, and $500 curling iron. As you can see, they do look quite different, and I'm surprised because there's only subtle differences for the flat irons, but for the curling irons, the results just look so various. And then this side is all of them with the classic curls, and then this side is the spiral waves, so depending how you like to style your hair. This is what they look like in comparison. So subscribe to this channel to see the next one and you can let me know what you think about the results in the comments below. In the meantime, please check out this video that YouTube says that you'll like next and I will see you in the next one. Bye! She wants to go. We're gonna go to the park. Goodbye.